everyone, my name is Sean Nolan. I'm here today to talk to you about some of the things I've recently seen at the theatre. I've chosen three shows today that I have very varying opinions on, and the three of them I'm holding here in programme form. Here at the back we have Showstopper, the improvised musical, currently running at the Apollo Theatre in London. Then I have Thriller Live, this is a UK tour, but it's identical to the West End production, pretty much here, give or take. So I'll also be talking about this. And finally, In the Heights at the King's Cross Theatre. So, I'm going to start chronologically because the first I saw out of the three was Showstopper. I actually saw this a couple of months ago, so this is actually quite different to the others. I apologise, that's tweet deck going off there. Here was Showstopper, the improvised musical. I went to see this with my friend Chaya. Now, my friend Chaya actually saw this at the Edinburgh Fringe. She was performing in the Edinburgh Fringe in Macbeth the musical, so we went to go and see this together. And we had a really, really great time. I was actually very wary of how I was going to think about the show because I actually saw a preview of this at the Olivier Awards live performance in Covent Garden two years ago, and I absolutely loathed it. I thought it was the worst thing ever, looked terrible, did not find it interesting in the slightest. So when I went to go and see the show, I was really apprehensive. But I got in there, we were selecting musicals and titles for the show because basically you go in there they ask you for ideas for the story ask you for musicals to base the songs on and then a title for the show and it was really really good fun to interact with people on the stage and stuff like that and then came the show and there is so much humor in it and I honestly was laughing out loud and I very rarely laugh out loud my friends know this very well I intend to the theater just kind of stare blankly and internally enjoy the humor and then say it was funny afterwards with this I was genuinely laughing out loud something I haven't really done I don't think since like the book of Mormon I really 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 found this so funny they were referencing jokes people made when they were kind of calling out at the beginning there was one point where a man actually said we were talking asking for classic musicals at the very beginning to base the songs on and someone says thrill alive and everyone burst into hysterics they thought it was the funniest thing ever they referenced that in the show they referenced silly titles they've given also in the interview you get to tweet ideas for the second act so we were tweeting ideas and they read them out at the very beginning of the second act my tweet got read out my friend's tweet got read out lots of other tweets got read out and they were referencing some of the silly ideas in that as well. It was really, really good. And there are actual moments of perfect, like, amazing musical theatre as well as just being funny. It was a really, really good night, and I really do recommend going to see this. I believe it closes on the 22nd of November at the Apollo. I hope it has another life at some point, because it's really, really fantastic. And obviously, each night is very, very different. The night I went, it was actually a speed dating uh, setting in South America. I think it was called Flick It or something. I would have put the title here. It was really, really funny. Really, really enjoyed that definitely go and see it. Next is Thriller Live on UK Tour. Now I actually have a totally differing opinion to this than I did on Showstop. I actually thought this was not the best thing I've definitely seen in my lifetime. I'm not actually a massive Michael Jackson fan anyway, so what compelled me to go and see this out of choice I don't really know. Probably to tick off things on the list uh, that I haven't seen in the West End musicals wise, because this is listed as a musical. Now I actually did have a major problem with this when I went to go and see it, was how it was named a musical. It is actually just a review of Michael Jackson's song, so why it is listed as being a musical I don't know. There is no story. Please do not be fooled. You're not seeing the story of Michael Jackson's life. You are literally seeing a series of musical numbers by Michael Jackson. Um, it was more the performers I had the problem with that kind of didn't give the songs justice to me. It was really hard to do Michael Jackson justice if you're not Michael Jackson. I think he's a very unique person. His songs are kind of only well performed when performed by him. So I found it difficult to love and I definitely found it a difficult evening, but I definitely think it's something you should, I said definitely about three times there, I'm so sorry. I really think you should go and see the show in the West End or on tour. If you're a massive Michael Jackson fan, definitely you'll love it either way. Or if you're just a big fan of reviews of music, I'm not necessarily a big fan of reviews of music when it comes to people that I don't really know. I guess not people, most people would not be. Uh, I quite like the idea of Close to You. I haven't actually caught that yet. I did have the opportunity to get around to catching it, but I will go and catch it very, very soon. And I love Burt Bacharach's music, so I'll go and see that. Other reviews are that I really enjoy, but this, not so much. But maybe for the Michael Jackson fans out there, for sure. If you have a differing opinion on any of these shows, please comment down below and let people know. Nice to have a discussion of different topics, because obviously these are just my opinions, not the opinions of the world. Finally, we have In the Heights, which is actually my favourite of the three things I've seen here. I know it's cliche to say it, obviously it's had fantastic reviews, but this really, really is amazing. And another fantastic review from me here. I've also reviewed this on Few Full. Um, I've reviewed both this and Thriller Live in full over my blog. It's linked here, my personal blog. I blog for London Theatre Direct. And I also blog uh, on my own blog sometimes as well. And I wrote about this over on there, and I said how fantastic it was. The score is amazing anyway, and I'm actually obsessed with Lin-Manuel Miranda, have been for a long time, but I never really ventured into In the Heights. It wasn't something I'd actually looked into, really didn't actually seem like my kind of thing. Uh, and it was actually my friend Jess when she was showing me the soundtrack one time, she was going to sing one of the songs of it for a performance we were doing. I actually went to go and see, I said soundtrack, I meant cast album. Pet peeve, I'm so sorry. 
my friend Jess was showing me the cast album from this show and she was talking about how we're going to perform one of the songs one time and I was really interested and I only knew the opening number and the second number and I listened through some of the rest of the music and I really really enjoyed it and actually got really really excited to see the show so when it finally came back to the West End after it sold out run at the Southwark Playhouse because we we're going to go and try and see it there we didn't so we had to go and see it at the King's Cross which was no shame at all because it's a fantastic staging the staging actually more than the show even was what was fantastic to me to see it on a traverse stage in a train station and it was all very well themed in the bar and everything it was a wonderful experience as opposed are just going to see a show. The show itself is actually fantastic as well. The music is the best part and the choreography just absolutely sublime. You have to catch this before it closes on January 3rd at the King's Cross. I'm sure it'll extend again if it can but you need to go and catch it before it definitely doesn't. When I booked it actually was only booking until next week which is the beginning of November um, so I went to court it a few weeks ago in October but you have to go and see it. It's incredible. So those are the three shows I'm going to talk to you guys about today. All incredible shows and ticket links to those on LondonTheatreDirect.com will be linked down below. I'll also comment down below if it's not in the description, my blog, to sh my blog Sean's Musical Musings. That is where I talk about shows if I don't talk about them on London Theatre Direct. I normally do talk about them on London Theatre Direct, so don't forget to follow them on Twitter at Theatre underscore Direct and myself at SeanyCat to catch where those reviews come. You can also see my reviews over on my Twitter page and on my blog as well, but I review a lot more on London Theatre Direct than for myself. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with other people you think are interested in these shows. They might want to see these reviews as well. If you enjoyed this video, also don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I will see you all next time with another video. Bye everyone!